what's up y'all welcome to my page if you're new here hit that subscribe button uh i just wanted to kind of revamp my page and give y'all some updates on some stuff i'm gonna try to start making some post more post or videos over here i basically got away from all social media i still do have my tiktok account um but anyway that's irrelevant uh to what i'm up here for uh but basically i just want to get up here and share you know like a day-to-day uh, journal of what I'm doing somewhat. Um, I'll tell y'all exactly how I've transformed from morbidly obese to in really good shape at 49 going on 50 years old. Um, I used to weigh 376 pounds, um, currently sitting at around 200. I have lost down to 176 before. Uh, I want to spread awareness that, you know, used to I'd thought carbs were the devil, do, do not, you know, low car was the only way and i've learned over time that's not the only way but i'll always refer people that are really overweight and need to lose a lot of weight to keto but by keto i don't mean eating bacon grease and putting butter in your coffee etc etc i mean clean good cuts of meat green vegetables some berries and i try to limit the dairy cheese wise I've noticed that that messes with me and stalls me out and it does a lot of people but you can have that in moderation and some nuts but nuts are packed with calories so at the end of the day his calories in versus calories out somewhat uh everything has a different hormonal response in your body so you know i'm just use an example if you're done if you're cutting on 2,000 calories and you get it from good cuts of meat and, and green vegetables or vegetables it in their self you can make a heck of a transformation doing that as long as you're training getting out moving some um, get up off the couch and move but if you take in the same 2,000 calories from eating doritos and candy bars and ice cream you're not getting enough protein in. it's going to cause a hormonal, hormonal response in your body and you're actually going to you may lose weight but you're going to lose quite a bit of muscle the other way is a route to go so a calorie and a versus a calorie is, isn't an equal thing there are different types of calories you need good calories but I highly suggest keto to people that need to lose a lot of weight. Once you get to where you need to be and you're happy, then you can start doing an elimination diet. And by that, I mean incorporating different things in one at a time to see how your body responds to it. Like I love roasted um, Brussels sprouts and roasted broccoli. I cannot have them. They cause my gut like horrible gut pain, very bad gas. Um, my, my body just does not break it down well, unfortunately, because I love it but i found what i can eat and what i can't eat can eat and i've learned every day as a post-workout meal i can have a baked potato like i was saying you can have i can have a baked potato now that i'm at my goal weight and get away with it and maintain um also something i've learned i can do and once you reach your goal as long as you you stay moving try to get in 10,000 steps a day that is the biggest thing that i say far as exercise if you don't want to go to the gym, you don't have to go to the gym. That's just a bonus to shape your body and mold it to what you want. If you just want to be happy and, you know, a little leaner and get that body fat off 10,000 steps a day, we'll do it as long as you're eating correctly. But I just want to share my journey with y'all some over here on YouTube. Um, I already got some good content up here. If you want to go check it out, you can see some of my old videos. But I wanted to revamp it and show y'all, you know, I'm still here. I'm still after it nine years later. So... Uh, here are my five keys. You know, I, I'm not really putting them in an order per se because they all should be number one. Uh, persistence, stay after it. If you fall off, then hey, get right back up and do it again. You, you just got to stay after it. That's, that's the main thing um, when it comes to persistence. Stay after it. Don't let the naysayers get in your head. Number two is get active, move. Three, which I'm saying no numbers, just all these are number one is clean your diet up get away from processed junk whole foods next thing is make sure you're getting in enough water no i'm not telling you jug, like chug down a gallon of water a day but you know get some water in depending on your size it'll vary but make sure you're staying hydrated and last but not least get adequate sleep i'm guilty of not getting adequate sleep i'm working on it trying to get better at it but it's really tough i have a hard time sleeping so but those are the keys appreciate if y'all hit that subscribe button and we'll have another video for you soon